What's up everyone, David here. Got a new video for y'all today. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. So as the title of this video implies, this is my very first fitness conference. Now what it is, is Perform Better, three day fitness summit down here in Long Beach, California. The whole purpose of this is to get that professional development. So a little bit of background information. For those who don't know, I am the personal training supervisor at the Student Rec Center at Cal State Northridge. And what I really like about working there is that they're always trying to provide opportunities for professional development for you in your position, in your field. So this is a really great one. From my understanding, because to be honest with you, I haven't really heard what the Perform Better conference, seminar, whatever it is, until a couple weeks ago. But from the research I've done, it is aimed more towards professional development of trainers, personal trainers, coaches, group exercise instructors, and fitness, like for example, gym, business owners. It's not like your typical meet and greet. I feel like that. I feel like that's what most people would associate this thing with. A lot of people think it's like where influencers would be, where like you get to meet the people that you see on YouTube and it's just more you wait in line, go take a picture with them, talk to them for a couple minutes and leave. No, this is more of there's an uh, hour, 15 minute time slots where you go in and you listen to select speakers talk about what it is that they specialize in the field. So one of them, for example, is talking about speed training for youth athletes. Another person is sleep for recovering and improving your uh, performance in the gym. Another one is training rotational speed. So you see, it's geared more towards things you could apply to the field. It's not necessarily meet and greet with you know these influencers this is actual legitimate professional development things to help you in the field so on the way down from Northridge first things first we ended up actually driving to Cal State Fullerton to check out the rec center there and see what it is that they got going on any projects any ideas that we could possibly you know take over and bring over to our rec center got to network a little bit we met our counterparts of that rec center and then kind of you know just add lunch with them real good experience and then afterwards we came down we already checked into the long beach convention center where the actual summit will be taking place real big space uh they gave us actually some free stuff which is pretty cool we'll go over it in a bit and then afterwards came back checked in the hotel got everything situated laid out let's take a tour of the place all right this is the first thing you see right when you walk into the room after shutting the front door got the two beds but first thing we got the bathroom look at that First thing that stands out to me right here is this lighting. I mean, I'm gonna be working out in a bit, so I'm definitely gonna be taking some good photos after right here. This is like that perfect bathroom lighting. It just highlights all the muscles, you know. If I had abs, it'd be more visible, but not quite as lean as I used to be. So it's pretty cool. We got one, two, three mirrors. You know, typical thing. Got my stuff for the, that hygiene, because we already know, man, you gotta keep it clean. Hygiene is number one. And then, you know, just typical bathroom. That's my towel, it's black, it doesn't go with the rest of the white theme here, but oh well. Making our way outside the bathroom. Got the mirror, you know, you gotta make sure you look presentable before you walk out the door. That's all my stuff right here. So even though I am on this trip, I brought as much food as I can with me because I'm really not trying to go outside and eat some fast food. So I brought canned tuna, you know, real lean white fish. Got some protein shakes. In here I got, there's like little canisters full of protein powders, creatine and uh, oats, but the oats actually blend it up, so it's literally all powdered up in here. All I gotta do is mix it in here with water, boom, protein shake. These were just the bottles that I drank of protein, or protein shakes that I already had made that I drank earlier today. In here I got some that I'm still gonna drink later today. And then here are just the ice packs, or this is the lunchbox with the ice pack that these two were in. I drink all my food blended, by the way. Like, it's chicken and rice that's blended up. Some people may think it's weird, but I don't care. It just saves time. I don't want to be chewing through some dry-ass chicken breast. Water. TV, which I'm not going to be looking at. Oh my god, look at it. It's so clean, you can see your reflection on it. Got all my stuff laid out on this table. Because even though I'm on vacation, look at that, there I am again. Even though it is a vacation, I'm not going to take the day off. Even though I'm going on a trip, I take all my stuff that I need to work because you know there are no days off. So why take advantage? Why not take advantage of this quiet environment and get some video editing on? So I got my iPad, my camera battery is charging, laptop, my glasses, chargers, and then all my camera stuff like the the mics, wires, more battery chargers, things like that. And this, along with this, is what they gave us when. We checked out 
that too. So when we registered over there at the convention center, got my name badge, gotta be wearing it to show proof that I actually did register and I'm supposed to be here. Perform better, advertising all the stuff they sell because Perform Better is just sell fitness equipment. This is more of just a schedule of all the talks they're gonna have. So this is what I was talking about earlier. They have hour and 15 minute time slots. So you see the first time slot is 9.15 to 10.30, but they have four different seminars that you could attend and you choose one of the four for this first hour 15. And then for this next hour 15 of 10.45 to 12, you choose this next four lunch break and it repeats like that again for three more time slots. And it's gonna be like that. This is Friday, which is tomorrow. Today's actually Thursday. And then we got Saturday and Sundays. Schedule Sunday is just like a half day. And then the great thing about this is it counts as continuing education credits. So for those who don't know, if you are a trainer, a specifically personal trainer or group exercise trainer, anything where you have to pay for a certification, every couple of years you have to renew it. So I have my personal training certification through ACE and you have to renew it every two years. And for ACE, you need two continuing education credits to renew it or to avoid having to pay to take the recertification test. You could just pay for continuing education credits. And the great thing about here is that ACE coming to this conference counts as 1.7 credits. So I could just carry those over the next time I have to renew it. So boom, save some money by coming to this conference instead of having to pay for another cert. They gave us a notebook to take notes. I was just using it to uh, write some content ideas. So I'm gonna use the rest of this to take notes of all the different seminars I'm gonna be listening to. They gave a pen, I think I already lost the pen. Or, oh, it's right here. Damn, they're just really good at marketing everything. They just put perform better on everything. And this is pretty cool. They actually gave us a whole ass backpack. And I looked at the table because I came down here with my boss from work, Alfredo. We drove down here together and the, when we checked out, there wasn't that big of a stack of backpacks. So I'm assuming it's first come first serve. I think there was only like eight backpacks on the table and we already took two of them. So there's only six left and I didn't see any more laying around. So it's gonna suck for those people that come in tomorrow or possibly maybe even Saturday. There's not gonna be any left. And look at this. This is the view that I got right here. Oh, it's kind of hard to tell because it's a reflection, but there we go. A lot of palm trees, good old Long Beach. So it's not just me that's gonna be being this room. My boss actually picked a hotel that was recommended for those that are gonna be coming down here for the conference because that hotel is literally right next to the convention center, so it's convenient. But myself and another personal trainer that works at the rec center with us, he's coming along too. So we were gonna room together. However, that other hotel that was recommended didn't have any rooms with two beds in it. So we had to come over to this hotel. And that's what we got to two. Good old Brendan's gonna come, but he's actually not here right now. He's actually coming tomorrow. The reason why is because he, he's taking summer class. But I mean, so am I. I skipped class today to come down here because my summer class is Tuesday and Thursdays. I skipped today's class, was, which was Thursday, so I could come down, you know, to this conference. Because I mean, if we're really gonna weigh it out, a free professional development seminar that would have otherwise cost upwards of a $300 range that I got for free, where I could actually learn stuff that I could apply to, you know, my field, my career, or work on a group project on a summer class I didn't even want to take in the first place for about two hours and that's it. Yeah, fuck that, I'm coming down here. And then Brennan is taking, it was uh, Advanced Biomechanics by the way, but Brennan is taking chemistry and he, his chemistry summer class is on Fridays in the morning. So instead of coming down here with us on Thursday, he's gonna go to class tomorrow morning take his can class like a fucking nerd and then make his way down here afterwards I'm like bruh just skip class it's chemistry we're in kinesiology that's like the number one class we complain about other than maybe physics about like how is this gonna help us but oh well so I'm gonna be real <laughs> not happy but I'm, I'm gonna make fun of him if they run out of backpacks when he comes by like oh you should have skipped class like we told you to because we were really trying to convince him like just skip class just come down here with us but oh well so that's the tour of the place right here I gotta get my gains because we were sitting around. I did work out a little bit this morning. Now I gotta get my second workout of the day. I'm gonna go check out the gym right here. Apparently it's on the fifth floor and we're gonna get these gains.
great with leg workout. No, but in all seriousness, that gym downstairs, it's actually pretty good. It's got the basics, anything that you will need for, I mean, for hotel standards. Obviously, in no hotel, I don't think it's gonna have a legitimate squat rack, bench press, you know, big pieces of gym equipment that, you know, hardcore lifters would be using. But, I mean, it had the basics. It had dumbbells that would go up to 50 pounds, five to 50s in five pound jumps. It had, I noticed it had two machines for lower body, two machines for, three machines for upper body, and then that big cable machine. So, just did what I could. I'm like, mm, do I wanna do full body and use a little bit of everything? I'm like, I'm gonna be here multiple days, so I'll just do lower body today. Tomorrow, I'll do upper body. So, real simple, which is, I try to do the best that I could to mimic the heavy weight I'll be lifting on a normal bar, because again, they didn't have barbells there. So just use the cable machine for the big lifts, squats and RDLs, and then use the two other leg machines for leg curls and leg extensions. But workout is done. Thankfully it was empty. I didn't have to wait for machines. So now I'm gonna be downing this protein shake, go to shower, clean up, start editing, planning out some content, getting some work done. Cause again, no days off, even though it is technically weekend trip going into the seminar still gotta get this work done all right this is the homework for me personally to help myself grow outside of just regular work so let's get all this going and start it got a couple more hours before we go to sleep it's right around eight o'clock right now so goal is to be in bed by 10. Ooh -wee. just got out of the shower feeling nice and fresh I will say that gym was actually, <laughs> it was actually pretty hot in there. So I was getting a good sweat and it didn't help that I was wearing sweats on the long sleeve either. So it feels real refreshing now to be able to jump in the shower. So oh, look at that. It's, it's part of the night routine. If I'm being completely honest, you have to take a shower, you look at yourself in the mirror. You have to flex. You got to go through your bodybuilding poses. You know, you got to do your front lat spread, your side chest, triceps. You got to hit them with the back lat spread. Back double bicep. And of course, you know, you gotta hit him with the most muscular. You gotta just looking absolutely yo. Look at that. Look at that. But anyways, yeah, so just finished off. I'm gonna dry myself up, put on some clothes, I gotta brush the teeth. I'll come the hair. Okay, I'll try to dry my hair at least somewhat. And then back to work. All right, day two of being here in Long Beach, but technically day one of the actual conference itself. So breakfast of champions, no day is complete, or no day can get started without eating a good wholesome breakfast. Though so what's more wholesome than a big can of plain ass tuna and a Kirkland granola bar, so, and water. So I'm gonna be eating this right now real quick and then start heading down to the convention center. It's like roughly a block away, so let's get into it. Now we're on our way. We're literally a couple feet away. Check it out. There we go. Long Beach Convention Center. Thankfully, there's actually a lot of good food spots to eat by here. Well, except for islands. I hate islands. But on the other side of that building and the other side of the stairwell, there's a lot more. So we'll see where we go for lunch. Make it work out. Yep. All right, that concludes day one of the seminars. Honestly, a lot of good information. A lot, a lot, a lot of good information. I feel like if the typical influencers were to talk about the things that these presenters talked about, oh my God, then they would actually be taken seriously. This information that was presented today, all the keynote speakers, all of them, man, they presented stuff that you can actually apply to the fitness industry, one-on-one -on -one with your clients, whether you're a personal trainer, group exercise instructor, athletic trainer, or just an overall business owner. I like, that's one of the main things I like that they also talked about things on the business side because yes you can learn so much about how to train clients what's the proper workout program how many sets and reps what's the proper rest intervals but if you don't know how to run the business itself then there's no point in knowing that because you know you gotta make money somehow so really good information but it's not the end of the day yet still gotta get these gains so let's hit a little bit of a chest and shoulder tricep workout you know get some good pushing muscle 
activation because in sitting down all day listening to all that I need some movement All right, day two, done. And I gotta say, every one of those rooms where we had the lecture, it was hot as fuck in there. I just wanna say, yesterday, first day, all the rooms were nice and cool. It was funny, my boss and then Brendan, uh, other personal trainer that came with me, <laughs> they were saying yesterday, oh my god, the rooms are so cold, they're so cold. But then today, oh my god, they were fucking hot. Like, I don't know if the AC got busted or they got too many complaints saying the rooms were cool. But man, I was sweating inside each one of those rooms, so it was brutal. But in terms of the actual speakers themselves, oh my god, today I feel I got more out of it. My top three of the day were Vince Gabriel, five ways to get more small group personal training clients in 2023. Obviously, it doesn't matter how much information you know if you can't apply it to business you know you gotta make money somehow or else you won't make it next one was richard ohm i'm pretty sure i'm pronouncing his last name wrong mastering core training so the main topic of that was about breathing embracing me being more more or less power lifting training or power lifter what what's the number one thing you always got to do before you do any heavy lift or any lift in general you got to breathe and brace so today he broke down the common things that people do for breathing and bracing and how could that can lead to lower back problems in the future and i gotta say fuck i've been doing it wrong this whole time so i can't wait to start implementing everything that i learned uh good thing about his lecture is he actually put the qr codes on the screen for us to download you know pull up the camera boom scan and definitely gonna be learning more about that and start applying it and then the last one from today, or the third one I should say, which also happened to be the last one, was Be Legendary, Seven Principles to Create a Legendary Business, Career, and Life by Todd Durkin. And honestly, I've never heard who he was, but after today, man, I'm definitely a fan. Everyone will say, man, this is the best for last. He will hype you up and the intensity he brought to his lecture. Oh my God, you wanna talk about motivational life coach type of vibe? He was, I mean, he was dripping sweat. Granted, it was hot in the room, but you could tell by the intensity in there. I'm definitely following him on social media. I mean, it's right up the alley of... Oh, sorry, I, thought I was hearing things. But yeah, definitely I'm gonna be following him. I definitely like what it was that he put out. That's another thing, I thought this today was gonna be more along the lines of only fitness, but I like that it went on into business about habits about you know the more psych the psychology side the psychological side of training people you know the mindset things like that because it's not just about fitness it's not just knowing how to teach someone how to squat it's also about how you think of yourself and how you want to project that energy into your clients and to top it all off during vince gabriel's uh lecture he also gave out books for free so I got two, and me being one, me wanting to be a gym owner, that's one of my biggest goals. I mean, what better than to get the book, The Ultimate Guide to The Ultimate Guide to Sales for Your Gym and The Ultimate Guide to Marketing Your Gym. I mean, like I said, you can know all the information in the world, but if you can't make money off of it, what's the point, man? You gotta stay, you, somehow you gotta stay in the black, somehow you gotta make this money. So real, real good day, but just like yesterday, and the day before when we drove down here, man, I've been sitting all day, gotta get some movement, so. So I'm my final workout of this trip. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of back and biceps. Let's get into it. Good morning, everyone. Third and final day of the Perform Better three-day summit. 
and I did not go to any of the talks. Last night we stayed up watching uh, Spider-Man, I did some editing, read a little bit of my book. This morning ended up waking up late, so like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to any of them. And instead I took the time to pack up all my stuff, so you see, cleaned up my bed, and I would like to say, Brennan left, didn't even do his bed, shame, but oh well. But overall, this was a great opportunity. Honestly, I learned so much. I'm gonna go back home and just review my notes and even review it on the car ride home. Definitely learned a lot of stuff. I'm definitely gonna be looking more into it. Overall, definitely will come back. That's gonna be it for this three day trip. Thank you all for watching the whole video. I know it was a little bit more lengthy or a little bit more longer video overall. But please comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do in the future. Make sure you subscribe to not just my channel, but my girlfriend's channel and our couple's channel. And make sure you follow us on Instagram, TikTok, same thing, on the individual accounts and the couples. I put all the links down in the description below. With that being said, I'll catch y'all next time.